Anniversary 2, um, this is part 6 on how to make the gentleman's vest and pants set. Um, once I finish this part, which is dealing with mostly with the, um, the vest and, and, and the buttons, we're going to go from um, there to um, working on the, um, the pockets. My pocket panel, the uh, waistband, waistband panel, or template, and the uh, the zipper. So I'm standing by the version two. This is part six on how to make the gentleman's um, pants and vest set. Stand by. Have my lining for my vest. Going to take an iron it here. The line is, a, is in the same shape. Uh, I use the same dress panel to make the lining. Just trace it, and um, nothing special to do to it. Just going to go in the inside. I'm going to use blue blue lining here, same color as the vest. I'm going to take and shape it into place. The same routine. This, this not too difficult. Just try to stay on your main line that you traced it with. Okay, so back, right? Now we have the uh, back of the vest here. Have it cut out using some black material. I take my template and I stretch it out three inches on both sides and one inch above the top. The same template I just added an inch to the top and three inches to both sides to make this back of the vest. Let's see, we turn this up over. Hit my lines here. I'm trying to see where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this whole thing out. And this is gonna be the back of the vest. Come in on my armpit area. Just cut and fold. Do you get the shape you want? Okay, this lining is kind of wide. You measure got two feet at the bottom and in the center for the back about one feet one inch at the top about the same okay we have um, a vest panel here we have our lining right under here now I want to match it up to make sure we're dressed right dressed and we're all in the same shape in all, in all the corners. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to take, take and open, I'm going to take and open it up. Now I can take and sew this, just take and stitch them both together, just like this. Real light stitch all the way around and that, uh, that'll be done really fast. But if you don't want the stitch to show, you need to open it up and take the edges when you crease it with the iron and begin to attach it to sew from the inside. You want to flip it inside out, take and flip it over where it's inside out now and just take, you can cut this excess fabric off now and just take and sew along where you steamed it and your stitch will not be shown. 
so we're going to to do that and just go through the whole vest you I, w I wouldn't really worry about um, this, this the back of it and under the the arms I would just concern myself with sewing from here to there here to here here and the, the whole front of the vest all the way up along the um, the shoulder shoulder blade so the shoulder blade down the front underneath underneath and don't worry about the back but you're going to end up sewing on the um the back of the vest to this i'll just sew one two three so let's do that do both vests like that and we'll take it from there once we get both of the vest and the linings attached then we're going to attach the um the back of the vest and begin to sew along where you sting a crease into the vest. So there you go. Let's knock that out. Have the sewing machine ready here. And let's do that. All the way over there. I'm not going to make it too tight. I need to pop the thread. It's going to pick up my foot. Then I'm going to take it, take it, open it up. We should have the uh, should have the same shape if we did it right. So like it's off a little, we can steam that back into place. It doesn't look too bad. Um, at least the um, thread is not showing. Okay, here we have um, back of the vest sewn on on the inside. I'm going to take fold here and sew a seam along the back like that, along that way. So I have a line going through here. That's why I made my adjustment to the back of the vest. It was just a little too wide, so I just took about an inch and a half split it straight down the middle take care of that had to put it on and uh, pinch it with my hand take my ruler and mark how well how <coughs> much how much I had pinched I took and laid it down and I put marking all the way down and um, I took about an inch and a half out of the center I just took and sewed, sewed it straight down there Straight down the center to um, bring it in to fit me just right. So that takes care of that. Now next I'm going to take here, where well, I didn't sew, right under the arm here. It's the inside. <coughs> Taking four dollars and work. I'm going to take and apply a stitch all the way down. So once I've got um, the um, lining and the outside sewn together, took my steam iron and fattened it back out, got my shape back, and I just sewed the back back of the rest on there. Right now there's just one panel on, I'm about to add another panel for the inside, this is the outside panel sewn to the edges of the vest on both sides so we've got our vest and as I was saying I need to work on the arms and the arm here to go and stitch these both together open it here and that'll make it look nice and neat
But we're going to take care of the bottom here. Just going to take and fold this. And this is the bottom of the back panel here. Just going to put a line, keep a line straight across. collect some buttons and um, when the time comes you can salvage them and uh, change the color. If you want for this project, I chose some gold buttons here, I may use silver, but I'm going to spray paint to fetch them up. A little scratched up here, but they'll work. Try to find some with the same texture as possible, same size. I have a collection, you only need probably six eight to make a double post it. Just gonna take that gold spray paint. Take our silver spray paint. Okay, we got uh, all our stitching done under the uh, in front of the armpit, under the armpit, on um, the side. So I need to. I'm going to work on the inside lining for the back panel. Got both the linings for the front panels. In place. Let me make sure my two front panels are lined up where I can so I'm gonna get my button buttons in place. So I need two rows about here. I have some buttons that I spray painted to get the color I want. I want either silver or, or gold. I don't know if gold goes with blue but I mean silver. I think the silver will look better than the gold. Let me try something here. Get some idea of where it's going to be located. Okay, we've got about two and a half horizontal. We got five rows. Hold up, let's see. Two and a half horizontal, two and a half vertical. Yeah, two and a half horizontal, two and a half vertical. We got five rows. We're going to lift the flap up here. These buttons are going to go be under the flap in the same area. Then make your button holes where these are located. These are just stationary. And take it from there. We're going to write it on the virtually two, the gentleman's two um, piece set. Rest and pants set. Stand by. 